on the old part, senile and everything. <laughs> he's still behaving like he's a puppy. <laughs> Look at him. Silly. It is stupid in the morning and I only have about half more hour to be done with all the packing before my father-in-law comes to pick me up to move me and like everything is a mess there's just no way I'm gonna be ready but still there's time to say goodbye to you look how much better she is you see let me show you um the surgery see it's that little tiny tiny thing over there not big at all so goodbye to everybody I'm gonna miss you guys and also goodbye to you even though you don't care about nothing much else but eating oh man gotta get back to packing welcome to the mess in my new room that looks lovely doesn't it in my by the way internetless new room which sucks it should get back to normal in a couple of days it should get No, your computer didn't freeze. My brain just froze because I forgot the word fixed. It should get fixed in a couple of days. That was hard. But I'm sorry, I'm tired. I do this stupid thing where I wake up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning and then I cannot go back asleep for a few hours and then it's time to wake up again. And I have no idea why. It makes no sense. I'm not even in the... New York time zone. I mean no time zone. I mean my own head time zone. And after a few days of that it can get pretty tiresome. So I'm not even gonna bother with unpacking all this crap today. I'm just gonna unpack a few essentials and take a shower and eat and just maybe watch a show called that a day. And tomorrow, well, would you like a room tour after I fix everything? If you don't think that's too boring, I will do a room tour for you. Though it's not much of a room, it's a very small room, but still. So yeah, I should get back to doing nothing. Because I've been just laying around for half hour, being exhausted. But yeah, I should get back to that or to unpacking a few stuff, like I said. So I'll see you in a bit, I think. Maybe not. Well, that's a slight improvement, and that's even more of an improvement. Hi! I have a confession to make, something I didn't tell you about. On my last day in New York City, I went back to Jersey again. Back to Jersey again? Back again? Is that redundant? Let me know. But yeah, I went back to Jersey where I visited David Silverman, the president of the American Atheists, and it was so much fun. I was in his uh, TV show thingy, The Atheist Viewpoint, and then I interviewed him and he showed us the headquarters and it was so much fun. Recorded uh, all the way the, the road trip to Jersey again and the entire day's worth of vlogging gone vanished. All of it. I don't even know what excuse to make for myself. I don't know when that happened, how that happened. I was so upset about it. However, just now I found a little bit of footage that I forgot about on this camera, which is my spare camera, because your battery died at some point. So I should actually show you how you look like. I'm not sure if I did that yet. By the way, I'm I apologize for my atrocious nails, I will fix it tomorrow, but this is how you look like. See, all purple and shiny and wow, this fan is loud. 
So I have a bit of footage on that camera and also I have a bit of the interview I did with him, me interviewing him, on yet a third camera recorded by somebody else. So since this day has been so slow and I've been moving and stuff and I don't have much to account for, I will insert that footage right now because something is better than nothing, right? Uh, really the goal of any nonprofit organization in the long run is to solve a problem and therefore put themselves out of business. That's great. Now, what we want to do at American Atheists, I do not intend to take American Atheists out of business. I do, however, intend to solve the problem that we're attacking right now, which is the bigotry against atheism in America, the second-class citizenry of, American, of atheists in America. Uh, this is a problem that American atheists, along with the rest of the American atheist movement, uh, we will solve this and we will succeed. This is something I'm, I'm extremely confident during my lifetime, we will succeed. Uh, and then American Atheists is going to need to change its direction because there won't be a need for a hardline atheist um, organization. If anymore. the influence of religion in society will no longer be something that requires intervention like it is now, obviously. Right, right. as long as, when, when, when there comes a point where there's no more of a need for atheists to pick up a picket sign or pick up a bullhorn, or to protest something, uh, then American Atheists will change its tack. And that's exactly what our big picture is right now. Get us to the point where we're no longer needed. And I think that's going to happen uh, within my lifetime, and I'm really looking forward to it. New battery, new camera. So, uh, American Atheist is also a press. So we publish a magazine, uh, now available in Barnes & Noble nationwide, which we're very excited about. This is at the Reason Rally, it's a picture at the Reason Rally, when James was actually waving to the crowd with his cane. How did you make him look so tall? <laughs> we, we had, we, the cameraman was very, very, you know, off stage. Yeah, he does kind of look tall there, doesn't he? Yeah, you made him look tall. Good That's job good. there. Yeah, I did that myself. <laughs> good skill, good skill. And here is... Um, the fun part, the back room. Where you have uh, the, the murder dungeon. This is the murder dungeon. Um, this is all of the stuff from the Madeline era. Uh, all of her, there are some personal effects back here. Uh, basically our, our catch-all. But this is the real, this is the real uh, plus right over here. This is the library. Um, wow. The American Atheist. I like it. Yeah. The American Atheist Library and Archives is one of the largest atheist organ, one of the largest atheist libraries in the country. Um, it's uh, of course fully fireproof, burglar proof, and uh, there's stuff in this library from uh, the 1700s and a couple of pieces actually from the 1600s. You can come on in. But please don't touch anything. We don't allow people to touch anything without white gloves in this room. Um, so I could, because I usually do this? Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'll try not to. And, but, but you can see that the, the books here are in many cases one of a kind, and in many cases extremely old. This is something that we feel very strongly about, um, because in the, in the end, preserving the atheist history, the, the atheistic history of America is a long-term forever objective of American atheists, okay? We have to make sure that these books, some of these books, like I said, are one of a kind. Some of them are, uh, are falling apart. They need to be preserved. And it's our job um, to make sure that this stuff stays preserved and is actually usable to the general public. The last part of the library is down this hall. Uh, this library goes on all the way down to the end, as you can see. Uh, these are the pictures of uh, John. That's John Garth Murray. Um, this is Bill Murray, who is now a preacher. He's the, uh, the kid around whom the court case was won. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's him? That's him. And he became a preacher. He's a very wealthy man now, I believe. And this is Robin who unfortunately, with John and Madeline, uh, was killed and dismembered in 1997. 
um, by somebody who was uh, basically in it for the money. It wasn't a religion-based uh, act of violence. It was just money-based act of violence, like mo most are. Yeah. I think uh, money is the first reason. It was all about right. money, and what happened was uh, he forced um, John to he forced Madeline to transfer money into an account. Uh, he, he kidnapped all three of them, forced Madeline to transfer money into an account, forced John to turn that money into gold, took that gold, uh, killed Madeline, John, and Robin, took the gold, put it in a storage locker, and then coincidentally, that storage locker was broken into by some neighborhood thugs. All the gold was stolen and spent in a weekend. Which is um, not ironic at all. No, on, on prostitutes and hookers and... Anybody hookers. made a movie about this yet? Because oh, they yeah, should. There, there have been a couple of movies about yeah. it. There have been a couple of movies about it. This is the last thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, this is our periodical section. Um, there are some... Th this is uh, a, a section of the library and archive that really also uh, is something that we're very, very proud of. Um, newspapers, magazines from the 1700s and the 1800s, uh, from the really the dawn of free thought in America. It all is uh, archived here. The oldest versions of American Atheist magazine are here. Um, we've got some from, like this one's from 1976, but we have some older versions of American Atheist from 1969. Uh, this is where, because uh, before atheism started in books, it started in magazines, it started in leaflets, it started in um, articles, and we have all of that uh, preserved here. I had no idea you guys do this stuff too. Yeah, this is part of our charter, and this is uh, the stuff, you know, when I talk about, you know, when when uh, the need for a hardline atheist organization wanes because we win, uh, there will always be a need to preserve uh, the heritage of the atheist movement in America and the free thought movement in America. It's extremely important that we be remembered, and we're very proud to be the curators of that memory. Whoa! What are you doing? Put it down. Put it down. Come on. Come on. It's mine. Go. Mine. Okay. Oh, dogs. They can do this all day long. Oh, I'll tell you something. I have a dog at home, and I love my dog at home. But when you've got... You know how when you get home from a hard day's work... Come here. When you come home from a hard day's work, and your dog is there, and he's so happy to see you, and he just puts a smile on your face. Well, when I come to work... It's the same thing. I've got a little thing waiting for me, looking out that door... And when she sees me, she starts jumping up and down, and, 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 and she gets all beside herself and starts barking and barking. And it just makes coming to work even better. I mean, being working here is great in the first place. Yeah, but that's an extra. I, I love animals. Like, I cannot live without them. I've been for a month without any animals, and I just, eh, I need I need something in my life, a cat or Yeah, you a have a dog, right? I have several. I have three dogs and a bunch of cats, and I miss all of them. Oh, how long have you been in America? Uh, one month. A whole month? A whole month. And you didn't call? <laughs> and you had I, didn't, I didn't know you live in Jersey, man. I, I had to see your video to see... She, uh, I, she's in New York. I, I'm, I'm, I had no idea you lived in Jersey. <laughs> no idea. Well, fine. I knew you lived in Romania. I mean, I'm not going to go to Romania and not give you an email. But that's okay. That's okay. Can't tell that Dave's Jewish. Don't avoid him. <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Good We're time. going. Right. We're going. We're going. <laughs> We're living. A bye bye. A bye bye. You're an attack doggy and everybody fears you. Yeah. And, and Say bye bye to David. Again. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you again for having me. <laughs> Just I, still I, sounds wrong. I love having you, Christina. Oh, I God. I love having you. That, I, that sounds even worse. My name is David Silverman, president <laughs> of American Atheists, and I love having Christina Rod. Oh, my God. I on do. the Atheist Viewpoint. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing that horrible after I do.
Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. Where are you going? Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. Arr. 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 <laughs> oh, I have a happy. So we did the show. I had my um, puppy fix. And I also got a t-shirt. And this camera is weird because uh, the battery on the other one died. And this is slightly zoomed in, so I'm not doing this on purpose. No matter what I do, it still looks like it's zoomed in. Very weird. <laughs>